What's up guys, and thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander. So today I'm going against Dark Dog. For you guys that might remember him, he's the type of player who always brings heavily hyper-offensive teams. Even though his defensive pokes are somewhat defensive, they have still offensive capabilities. He's a very tough player to go up against because he has such a stylish way of working around threats. So he's using Furfro or Bedfist, however you want to call it, Yuxi, Dragaldi, Pharaoh, Sork, which probably is the biggest threat on his team, and Pyro. I myself is using almost the same team as I did against Anima. I did some adjustment. Obviously, the Sept Lidl is doing as well as my uh, Electivire. So Electivire is back on. The reason I took out Electivire was because it was actually wrong to EV. They actually have EV in attack instead of special attack. So that's why I did so little damage against the uh, Goodwin on my previous battle. Because, yeah, it obviously didn't hit too hard. So I had to redo it. And that sadly meant that Sephtal was up. And I lost. Probably would have lost anyway. But other than that, there is Noctowl, uh, you're soaring with uh, Protect the Last Resort. Hypno is in a mess spread with the same type of uh, uh, utility uh, girder, the same one that has been around, and uh, Optimus Prime. So let's do it. Let's see how this one goes. So in the beginning here, I really knew that my Noctowl was easily going to wall everything that he throws at me. So I just went with it and just thought, you know what? Let's toxic something. So this is not my special offensive knock towel. This is my defog knock towel, and it works really well. Very specially heavy defensive, and I take that fire blast really well, well above 50%. So I'm able to get that toxic off, and I'm just going to roost. Dark dog though, he sees right through me and knows that this is a stall war. He can't win. Knock towel is really great at stalling. I mean, especially it can take a few punches without even you know give a care really. So anyway, going against Dragaldi, I can just go for Nightshade, I have no way of actually fearing this guy at the moment. So he throws a Thunderbolt, doesn't do enough, but he gets the Paralyzation. It really sucks, you know, those 10% are also a part of the game. But being that I don't use Gramble, I actually have no heal build at this team. So it's not useless, but it's definitely not worth using at the same way. So anyway, we're gonna throw in Optimus Prime into the ring here, and he's just going directly for the U-turn. Not a bad move. It does fairly damage consider it was that it was resisted. Even though it was a crit, it still did well enough to know I thought with it. So anyway, I'm going for Drain Punch here because I knew that I can actually soak out some damage. I'm going to be able to outspeed this drug all because I have some speed investment and uh, this earthquake will easily kill it. So it pretty much left it as fodder too because I actually get that. There was no reason for him to try and use it. So I'm going to do Spyro and this is this is why I call you Optimus. Taking this Dark Pulse like a boss and then retire with Drain Punch. What you want, mate? Uh, get out! Optimus Prime is pulling through. So that that was actually really impressive. I did not see that happening. I was so glad that Assault was pulling through. And I actually managed to survive this Drill Pack too. And Optimus, you are a true hero. <laughs> wow, Optimus Prime is so good. This Golurk is so awesome. But sadly though, it all has come to an end and Sucker Punch will easily kill me. I actually decided here that I might as well go for Drain Punch in case they decide to set up with Cotton Guard. So now you get, guys get to see Jeebus. Jeebus is a Protect Setter um, with Toxic Orb and Guts if I remember correctly. No, Fast Feet and Last Resort. It does fair damage actually. Fur Throw is, you know, very very special defensive heavy and being that I got the crit with the Headbutt uh, pretty much forced me to switch up because Toxic Orb is, how to put it well here, it's not a nice item to stay around too long with because that Toxic Damage will rack up very fast and I see no reason to uh, use your Soren like that consider how good it outspeed everything while it's Toxic. So I just decided I might as well try to really sack off my Hector. I was actually trying to get some fair damage here but obviously I didn't pull through. And it really sucked, so I might as well, you know, I thought, alright, let's leave him as fodder. Gonna bring in Girder here, just to take off its item, really. Leftover is the only, like, safe way it can actually recover here. And I really felt that that thing's gotta go, like, now. <laughs> Fast. So yeah, I get that one off, and I'll actually go for Drain Punch here, and Dark will do a good prediction here, bringing the Yuxi. Yuxi is... 
very, like, extremely defensive for NU. I never knew it was a part of the NU, but yeah. I can see that's not a threat uh, physically or special offensive, but using it special offensive pretty much take a player off guard, and that did well enough over what I think was could do. So I actually can't uh, go against um, go against the um, fur throw here and retail with the drain punch. I pretty much sacked my phoenix here basically because there was no reason for me to switching out. I just accept my fate and bring in Jeebus back on here. And Jeebus, you know what he does? He protects and uses last resort. My god, this thing hits so hard, but sadly, and I have to be really honest here, um, I might think this set is, works much better with the gut sets, because then it's able to actually take out things as slacking does. So I actually think, you know what? I can survive another like base toxic damage here. So I'm going to sw switch out my Electivire just to um, take whatever it's trying to do. You actually go for Sucker Punch. I kind of predicted that too. Go for a Volt Switch, easily taking the dodge out there. Poor guy. I like Furfro, one of my favorite folks. So cool. And I actually did a miscalculation here. I didn't think the Toxic would, you know, start hitting off while I switched in. So that really sucks for me because I am forced to go for a Protect here. The only good thing came out of this was if I I could you know scout him if he was uh, scarfed or not. So now I know he went for an earthquake. So I'm just gonna bring in Hector here, you know, going for some easy damage. It's not scarfed or choice bandage. So Hector, I'm sorry. <laughs> My thought process wasn't in the right place, but you know, Sork is threatening as it is. Uh, so I know this guy is probably sturdy. So I'm just gonna bring a Volt Switch here, doing some fair damage. Like I said, I. Pretty much betting that it was sturdy, so it wouldn't have mattered if I brought it down to its sash really or sturdy range. And look, you just go for an earthquake here. My poor gentle Hypno is not a part of this battle at all, actually. Poor guy. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't showcase him. You're gonna see him in another battle though. So anyway, we're gonna bring back Squall here. Easily take out the Sock or Sock. Kinda invent him name here. So the only thing he got left there is the UC. And there is really nothing you can do here. I am actually somewhat invested in special defense. Easily take that sidekick without a doubt in my mind. I'll finish this off with a nice and healthy shock of love. And it's a crit. Goodbye, sir. And thank you, Dark Dog, for this battle. It was actually a really, really good battle, and I liked it a lot, actually. So what the hell did really transpire in this battle? Well, let's face it, Optimus Prime did some work here. He took out three pokes very early. Being that Assault Vest is somewhat not very well used with the Golurk, uh, I got in a very good position early on, and I didn't really need to predict the rest of the battle, I just could play rather safe there. Obviously the Yuxi and Furfro combination did throw many of my pokes out of balance, but I also didn't really need to predict anymore because I was in such a good position that I didn't have to gamble anything anymore. So yeah, props on Dark Dog for doing the best he could to try to get back. Sally, that goaler did too much damage on his team. So anyway guys, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, alright? And don't forget, have a good day. Alright guys, bye.